From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Most people come here to escape the cold winter season in North America and Europe. Jamaica, a Caribbean country of 2.8 million people, is known for its reggae music and iconic track and field stars Bob Marley and Usain Bolt respectively. But the nation is facing hard times. Unemployment rates rose in 2009 to 14.5% compared to 11% in 2008. And some desperate Jamaicans are turning to crime for their survival. Crime of an unusual kind, cybercrime, is rapidly occurring in Jamaica. Committed with the help of computer and electronic systems, victims seldom realize that they are targets. In 2008, we had over 570 cases of cybercrime, or what we call identity theft, which is electronic um, type fraud. Superintendent Fitz Bailey is in charge of the Organized Crime Investigation Division in Kingston, Jamaica. Advanced technology is used by the criminal, so it makes it more difficult for law enforcement agents to, to detect crime. And even more difficult for the banking industry to prevent perpetrators from draining money from their customers' bank accounts. This man, who asked not to be identified, was a victim of cybercrime. When I went to the banking machine, um, I noticed I could not get any money. And I know $30,000 would be the limit. I was a bit concerned. I, as a matter of fact, I was very surprised. On any given day, he's allowed to withdraw 30,000 Jamaican dollars or 330 US dollars from his account since he's a valued customer. That day, someone had already withdrawn his daily limit from the ATM machine. He believed that it was an inside job because he's the only one who knew his withdrawal limit except for the bank officers. It's not as if you went. You try for $5,000 and then you kept incrementing it till it reached the limit, like the maximum that you can. But there was one hit for $30,000 and another hit for the other $30,000 the next day. They are actually using covert cameras, pinhole cameras, to install in the ABM machines. And when customers are uh, going to do their transactions, they are able to capture data from their debit card or credit card and then they use technology to create cards or clone the, the customer's card and then withdraw a significant amount of money from their account. The victim's bank acted responsibly and refunded the full amount stolen from his account. Efforts to curb cybercrime were addressed by the UN Office on Drugs and Crime in Brazil recently at the 12th World Crime Congress. More countries need to strengthen laws to punish offenders. According to cybercrimelaw.net, only 78 countries worldwide have passed legislation to fight cybercrime. Now, the government of Jamaica is struggling to pass its own legislation, the Cybercrimes Act 2009, to punish offenders as criminals. The bill is before Parliament waiting for passage, but it's meeting some resistance as officials believe it may impede business development. Until it's passed, perpetrators will get off lightly and charged only as felons. This report was prepared by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.